All right, guys, we got Travis's truck here. Uh, hot no start. Pretty picture book. All right, go ahead and hit it. Uh, Darian's already got it. There you go. Okay, so we'll yank uh, valve cover off. We're going in, right? Yep. Shake the valve cover off. I've got a little coming from over there. That's a little concerning, but it could be bleeding over. You said you hear it more from here. Yeah. All right, so we'll check this side. Let's see. Uh, hang on. All right, that was quick. That was magic. All right, let's plug it back in and see what we see. They're not updated. Let's turn the light on. Not updated, 10 millimeters. Sand pipe. Or an injector back there. Hang on. Okay, it does not look like it's top injector O-rings. Uh, we've had broken stand pipes before. Let's uh, let's just hope it's not the path of resistance and we're hearing it over here because of an STC fitting because it says an EGR cooler on it. So uh, STC fitting is going to be in the future of this truck at one point or another. So we'll just find out right now whether it's now or later. So let's go ahead and pull it out and change it. Let's pull that stand pipe out. We do have sand pipes here. We keep them here. All right, so the O-ring's all the way gone to the bottom. Now, this would be another one of those instances I really would rather not disrupt the top injector O-rings, and I would rather, I know they make that tool, but it doesn't work. I don't know, I mean, yeah, whatever. But to get the bottom half of the oil rail out, I mean, honestly, it'd be just as, you know, I mean, I would almost, what I would do on mine is throw the standpipe in it, throw the top half in it and put it in. And a lot of people would say, oh, well, you cheap ass, why don't you pull the damn oil rail off? Or you don't have the tool to get it out. No, I mean, I, you know, overpriced thing and it doesn't work. Uh, I don't know that it doesn't work, but I've heard from everybody that it, that I know that owns it say that it's a piece of crap. You can make something better at a hardware store. So what I'm getting at is pulling that oil rail off to replace it. I, I'll leave that up to you. If you want to go ahead and pull the oil rail off, uh, we can. Um, but I would just assume not if we don't have to take injectors or we don't have bad injectors I just assume leave that oil rail on if we don't have top injector o-ring issues uh, And and that might be I don't know I mean I might think about it right as soon as I hit the button on the video and yank the oil rail off and go and replace the bottom because uh, Yeah, uh, I mean Flip a coin, you know, let's see how far we want to go because right now we just throw the top half in it and it'd probably be good So let's see Found it. Oh I had it for a minute. Little piece of O-ring came off. Pretty normal. We'll go ahead and update update the dummy plug too. Do that right now. That's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and update the dummy plug too. Because it's 10 millimeter, it's not updated. So there you go. The dummy plug actually looks good. A little bit of chewing away the O-ring right there, but probably was a matter of time. Alright, let's hook it back up. There you go. For now. Now what you call is a garden hose effect, right? We leak, we sealed the biggest leak. Uh, let's just hope that we don't wind up doing the other side too. But we did update sandpipe and dummy plug. I didn't take the oil rail off. You know what? If you guys want to bash me for it, whatever. But it made it... I mean, there's nothing saying that that bottom half of it, you know, that's... Whatever, it's fine. We can reuse that bottom half. Uh, call me a hack. Call me whatever you want to call me. Whatever, but... You know, on this this job right here, I mean, it's it's a non-deleted, non-studded truck. Uh, there, there's a good chance we're going to be going back in there. So, you know, at, at that point, like with this specific truck, we'll have it in there. I mean, I'll go ahead and give them another standpipe. We'll do another standpipe if and when it has to come apart again. But for right now, let's just put the dummy plug in it. It'll be fine, guys. It'll be fine. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, honestly that half i've had issues with standpipes anyways even new ones so there's no guarantee that we're not going to go back and revisit that little son of a gun but uh there you go so we'll button it up and that's it have a good day guys